Skyrim? Ew! Gears of War 4? Ew! Battlefield 1? Ew! Infinite War- I mean, come on, look at this, guys. Come on now. Titanfall 2? Triple ew! Y'all need to play a Railman's game. GTA 5. Now, I know this game is still 50 to, to $60 in some places, even after three whole years, but trust me, guys. Buying it will be the best thing you've ever done. The GTA 5 online community is just amazing. These are the most friendliest and most cooperative human beings you could ever meet. Hey there, friend, you wanna hop in my car? Oh, okay. Or you could just shoot me. Hey there, other friend, you wanna hop? Oh, okay. Or you could just shoot me. Not only that, but the interaction with the world around you is great too it's phenomenal actually like whenever your character jumps off a ledge instead of trying to land on its feet like a normal human being would it automatically enters into this uh th this suicide skydive mode and if you look into the mostly positive reviews of the game and look under the most helpful reviews part it shows you some positive feedback on how great of a job Rockstar's managed to entertain its customers. Not recommended. Worst customer service I've ever been in contact with. Not recommended. Worst client support I've seen in the last 10 years. Not recommended. Getting banned for no reason. Not recommended. Getting banned for no reason. Not recommended. Getting banned because a hacker was in the room. Oh, I guess the other ones make sense now. And this one right here, this one's my favorite, just classic. 394 hours of playtime, $11 million, doesn't cheat at all. Gets banned 10 days for absolutely nothing. Gets back on after ban. Gets banned immediately for 30 days. Gets back on after 30 days. Plays the game, records the footage, shows customer service videos and proof of him doing nothing and playing the game fairly. <coughs> Permaban. Uh, but one thing they really got down about this game? Uh, are we being for realsy willsies right now? The the uh the one thing that they really got down about this game, the best realistic thing ever, is probably the realness of cops and law enforcement. Oh, excuse me, kind officers. It seems that I've actually Yo, Okay, uh, let's get really real for a second. GTA 5 sucks bite-sized dick sticks, okay? And Rockstar has the audacity to keep this game for the same price over three years? How about we stop this, you sick sad people? If we keep it $50, <laughs> the people are gonna believe it's worth $50. Well, not me. Not me at all. The moment I started seeing people lag and teleport like Nightcrawler from off the X-Men, I took the game out of the system and alley-ooped it straight into the garbage. It's not a bad game. Let's get that clear. It's a good game or has the potential to be a good game, but with qualities including bad client support, toxic ass community, uh, false banning, bad connectivity, and a hint of outdated physics, that instantly turns it into a mediocrely bad one. And there's nothing wrong with having those types of problems, especially with a game that has such a large community and a large map. But $50? Three years? $50 three years? All these problems that haven't been fixed and you're still selling it for $50. Really, are you serious? Pack a pong for the PC is free. And I've had tons more fun playing this than having to, to calculate where to shoot my gun in relation to how far away my opponent will lag. Pack a pong for the PC, nine out of 10. GTA single player, six out of 10. GTA online, three out of five billion. Rockstar, lower the price of the damn game. <laughs> And from the way it looks in the previews, the movie might might have an overall rating of somewhere between 5.4 and 4.9. Mm -hmm.